rewind real quick. Take a step back. Um, I've played some cool Super World recently that make Mario 64 inside this game. They make Mario Odyssey. They, there's a lot of possibilities. I've even seen some Zelda ones. But anyway, I am taking it upon myself to make a game that is probably not out there, but will be sick. And it's gonna be Donkey Kong 64. Okay, the grand reveal. What kind of level am I gonna make? Whoa, we're gonna make the training barrels area the very start of the game. How could you have possibly guessed I would make the beginning of the game? Whoa, we're starting in a treehouse. Insane. Need some bananas that you slip on. You can put an ice block. This is your ice block. Whoa. Don't slip. Oh yeah. Just good old squawks coming to tell you some news. There's a boom box. There's like a tire swing. Yo, let's get the tire swing. There's not space for this, dude. All right, DK's tire swing. <laughs> Bird tells you, you're like, oh no. Can you, con can you, <laughs> how do you contain Lakitu? Green sheep sheep. You suck. Wing. Does this work? No. Dang it, dude. Spike is Spike gonna drop spikes on us? Yeah. Good old Spike. It's perfect. Spike is like, dude, DK, something awful happened. Uh, now what? Um, is this gonna bring you over here? Okay, first of all, we need to make level enormous. Let's go. It's so beautiful. Okay, we need some ground, dude. You know, like ground to stand on, like ground. Oh, is it because of the theme I'm using? I'm like, why isn't there ground? Ground is just pipes in this? Ah, this theme sucks, dude. Whoa, they're huge trees. Look at these huge trees. Wait, actually, this would be like a great tree right here. <laughs> Whoa, it's a tree. And it can go behind the bridge. Whoa, we should use this theme and then we can have ground. <laughs> I don't really want these like bushes in the back. So we're just going to make the ground high enough that you never see them. <laughs> There's supposed to be a waterfall, which is why I was kind of okay with the jungle theme because I could have water at least. Now I don't have water or a waterfall and I don't know what to do. Guys, how do I make a waterfall? Ah, uh, Mario Maker 1, people were like, give us slopes. Here I am in Mario Maker 2 saying, let me properly place water, please. Can we just have like little sections of water? Do we not have to have like fixed tide levels and like just awful, only in certain themes? Like, let me use water better. So anyway, <laughs> rant end. Okay, so this is gonna be the cave, I guess. This is just for fun bonus area. Not symmetrical. Has to be symmetrical. Aha! Alright, very epic waterfall incoming. Whoa. Don't jump in there, you're you're dead. Oh man, it's so perfect. Do you go through the bottom of these? Yeah, dude, we climbed the tree. Perfect, spacing is beautiful. Oh, you can stand on the waterfall. <laughs> uh, technically the waterfall goes over the cave, does it? 
Why can't I place it there? Insane waterfall. Okay. Uh. Cranky Kong hut is gonna be right here. I guess his house is between a couple trees. Dude, I wish I could put like vines in the background. I guess you can. Whoa, look at this cool rep repressed area. Okay, but no, not, no, not my mushrooms. Okay, this is Cranky's house. I want to make a sound effect happen on top of his roof. His roof has like... His roof has electricity on it, and he has this this thing that goes... And it also has like this electrical thing on it. Okay, what's this one? Hmm. Bzz things right here. Maybe this is better. Wow, what a reference. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta make his house, dude. I don't know how to do this. I just want it like this, but then you can't, like, get to the door. Wait, so what are you saying, Datsun? <laughs> You're saying leave the floor like this, and then... Like, I need to stand. Now for the actual gameplay. Uh, the crazy thing is I could have had a lot more space because I don't need the gold to be that far over. How hard would it be for me to move everything to the right? Can't see! Gosh, so stupid. Wish I could zoom out more, dude. Oh, you can when you move? Why only when you move? I'm glad you can, but why? The training barrels. Whoa! The training barrels are like in the middle of a tree or is there not a tree in the middle yeah there's like a huge tree in the middle i guess we'll just need pipes we can have some fun floaty barrel pipes training barrel number two training barrel number three training barrel number four <laughs> Sorry, I'll go to multi-grab mode. Dude, it's perfect. Look at these beautiful training barrels. Okay, where are these pipes gonna go? They're gonna go to the subworld, which means we drag Toad in. We're in a barrel made of wood. And we're gonna have a red coin. It's so simple, but I mean that's what this training barrel is Okay, and then we still have Three other barrel screens plus cranky uh, Second is the orange barrel Let's go orange barrel here. We're gonna have a uh, Tree in the middle Gotta have tree. Okay. How can we represent the orange barrel? You're supposed to pick up four orange grenades and then throw them I need to Have four bob bombs that hold red coins. Okay, does do bombs break this type of block? They probably do, don't they? That's bad. Does this work? Donut block so that you can climb this. What? Is this sorcery? Okay, so oh, the goal is gonna be to like throw the bombs from up here at something. We're gonna have it be a 
conveyor belt. Abby, thanks for gifting us up. That's super nice. Oh. <laughs> sure. That's one way. Wow. Uh, I didn't know this could happen. Is there a limit for like bombs? Okay, um, after grenade barrel comes barrel barrel. The way this barrel works is you have to pick up four barrels and throw them, and then when they break, you win. Uh, I could use like pow blocks. Is there any enemy that will die in four pow blocks? And if we have a pokey and he's just like blocking the way, and then we're like, yo, die. That's pretty good. Uh, I need him to like be stuck though. <laughs> Get him. Oh wait, it's only if you like, okay, maybe munchers instead. It's only if the pow block physically hits him that it, takes it one away instead of all oh interesting take this <laughs> no pipe to spawn a pow we just want four unless powers blow each other up yeah they don't right if you mess up you can res you have to respawn the room just like in the game when you fail and you have to retry. <laughs> okay, final one. And then we make Cranky's Hut and then we make the exit tunnel and then we're done. This is the, the vine barrel. We're gonna have him spawn in Like this this time. Then we have a good old tree. And then a couple a couple vines. Yay! Simple, but this is literally the tutorial of the game. <laughs> this is how it is. Use actual vines? No, because they don't swing. Unless I could, like, modify this to look like a swinging vine. <laughs> okay, once you get the key... This... I need... Wait, can key doors not go into... Subworld? You're telling me I have to make inside Cranky's hut somewhere, somewhere real. You might be able to see it from here though. If I do like that, does it stop this? It does. Dude, <laughs> what were they thinking? You're gonna make things stackable. Why do you make them delete each other? Okay. The whole reason we came here is to get a boot. He's going to grant us... Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to drag everything. Okay. I'll put you in at the end, I guess. I don't know. What on earth? So dumb. <laughs> okay. Cranky is gonna be a mole or something. 
This guy looks pretty cranky, actually. Hey, butthead. It's cranky. Oh. We'll make him go to the right so that he is mad. Not with <laughs> not with that kind of tile we won't. Uh anything you can't break that's not stupid pipes. Oh ground. I'm so used to being in that other theme where the ground was like awful. It actually looks like a desk too. It's pretty good. I'm cranky, and I'm mad. Can a boot dude come out of a note block? Because that would be hype. So we gotta come here, and then... Cranky grants us our shoe. It's like him giving us the potion, and then we consume it. And now we have the shoe, so we can... Oh, do you have to be big shoe to ground pound? Oh, or is it the the other one? The point of the boot isn't just to be the clear condition. It's that in the game, you earn the ability to pound a switch that lets you out. So I was just trying to think of ways to pound the ground. And that's one of them. <laughs> So this is gonna go, you're gonna enter the room, you're gonna be like, oh, it's cranky. Look how cranky he is. Oh, what does he give me? This is my potion. Then you leave and you go and use it to pound a switch. But I gotta work out how pounding the switch wins the level. Oh yeah, let's put uh, the background back on Cranky's hut. Oh, also, let's do a little effect. Oh, what's the this one, maybe? Okay, well, we'll have it there, and then we'll have a electric zap here, because Linky, or not Linky, Cranky has like a bunch of electric things on his desk. Let's go. Transformation complete while we're at the sound effect game. It's so annoying. Can I drag my guy in pipes? Yay. <laughs> I should make this one narrower. This, this barrel is actually smaller than the others. Oh, also there's like hills in the background, which is weird. Should make brown backgrounds. Oh. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to build the ending cave. Yay! I want to make a banana with rings somewhere. Hmm, it's hard to make it look clearly banana without being stupid. Oh yeah, just throw in more and more until it's not recognizable at all. Dude, just more and more and more and eventually it'll look like it, right? I'm just gonna write DK instead. I can do that. <laughs> it's not just that it's pixel art twig, it's that it's pixel art where you have like eight pixels. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, here we gotta have a gate mechanism. So we're gonna have Here's our gate. Perfect. Wait. Wait, I thought it could break those. Didn't it break them 
over there? Is it the is it the heals one that can break those? What would bombs do? Oh, well. Yeah, I mean that's just Ah. Uh, there's bomb cheese. And it's actually a switch. It's a lot better. Gosh dang it. <laughs> it's like, obviously there's easy solutions, but it's like, I don't want it to look too stupid. We're good. I think we're good, dude. So we start in DK's treehouse. This he has a tire swing in his treehouse. That's what that is. This is Squawks. He's a parrot, and he says, "Squawk, DK, come quickly! All of your bananas are gone." And so we go to check the banana hoard. We pass Cranky's hut. He has lightning on top of his house. Uh, this is the waterfall. Climb the tree, swing across the vines, and go in. And then, if you have the rain, the certain move in the game, you can pound a dirt pad here and get a valuable coin. That's where the banana hoard is, and now it's empty other than that. We go back. We can't go in Cranky's yet. Normally, you go in Cranky's, and he says, go do the training barrels. But we're going to go do the training barrels. There's four training barrels. The first one teaches you how to dive. Grab the red coin. Uh, yeah, you just literally dive and like swim down to a coin. Next, uh, this one, you're supposed to collect four orange grenades and then just throw them and make them explode. But I had to come up with some way to do this. So we're throwing bombs at walls until we, yeah, break the wall enough. Next up is the barrel barrel that teaches you how to pick up and throw barrels. In this case, we have P, or sorry, POW blocks. So we're gonna pick up and throw the POW blocks. And once we've broken them all, we can get the coin. Look orange to me, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And finally, the vine barrel, where you literally climb a tree and then swing across and grab a coin. And clip out of bounds if you're doing a speedrun. <laughs> Alright, and that would save time here too, because you want to warp back to DK's house. Uh, okay, um, now that we have the key, we go visit Cranky. He's going to give us the ability to leave the island. This is Cranky. You can see how cranky he is. He gives us a potion. We take the potion. Now we have the power to pound the ground. He gives you Simeon Slam. So now we can pound switches and open the way out. We got it. And that's the level. It's beautiful. <laughs> Here we go. DK64 training barrels. Okay. Input a description. Perfect. Uh, themed. And sort of puzzle solving. And art. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get the code and then everyone can play it. You're welcome to play it. You're welcome to play my hack show video games. That's a pretty nice level code. I'll remember it forever, dude. 